and welcome to the Paletti Rosa Homestead. Well, today is Thursday. It's not a very nice day out. We have a lot of uh, mist in the air and that was the heat and the cool that came together. But as soon as the sun comes out, hopefully all that will dissipate and go away. But today I thought I'd talk to you about dragon tongue beans. Not a lot of people have heard about them, and they are amazing beans. They're from the Netherlands. They are shelling beans. And they come, they're also known as a Dutch wax bean. They are cranberry and pinto beans, they look like. And here is one. And when they get big, they look like that. And I have a bunch here I got yesterday. What's nice about these is when you want to save them, because I want to collect a lot, and then I want to turn around and can them. So this way, you just pick them, wash them off, and throw them in the freezer. And that's what they came out looking like. Now, when you cook them, unfortunately, all that purple goes away. And they just maintain the outside light green or some of them turn out to be like a deep yellow like that. But they're amazing. Uh, they are the vulgarious species or in the vulgarious family. What's nice about these beans is they're stringless. There is no strings. So when you want to go keep them or you want to can them or you want to cook them, all you do is you take off the two ends and there you got your bean. They could be eaten raw. Oh, they're good. Mm. They got kind of like a, a slightly sweeter, juicier than your normal green beans. And there's a slight nut flavor, which makes them fantastic. We love them here. When you want to go eat them, like I said, you can eat them raw. You can eat them cooked. You could freeze them. You can can them. Ferment them. Anything you like. What we like here is I pick them. I throw them in the freezer. And then when I get a bunch then I can them. And when that time comes, hopefully I'll do a video for you to show you how we do it. But today's video was supposed to be just a nice quick video telling you about the beans. Because I've heard a lot of people here from the south, which we're only like southwest Virginia, so we're really not the south. We're kind of like in the middle of the state. But a lot of people here are into what's called half runner beans um, where your dragon tongue bean is not a pole bean it's a bush bean your half runners are pole beans they grow up on my fence and then I pick them from there these are more or less your low hanging fruit they don't the the vine doesn't grow up so you just pick them and it goes pretty quick but a lot of people here in Southwest Virginia, they know about half runners. And I grew them also. I also grew yellow wax beans. But so I figured I would do a video and tell you guys about the dragon tongue bean. If you have any questions, I hope you'll leave me a comment. Love to hear from you. I don't hear from any people. So like I said, I'm still in the, in the new side of this. It's been almost a year that I've had this. So I'm hoping to increase my uh, my viewer list, my subscriptions. So if you would, I'd appreciate if you could pass on to a family or friend about the Paletti Rosa Homestead. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to have you subscribe to my channel and go on this journey with me. Me and my husband came from New Jersey. We lived in a, in a neighborhood and decided to move out more to the country. We have about 50 acres of property. Most of it is mountain. 
I would say maybe three acres are usable. We have our house on it. We have a 10 by 20 greenhouse on it. We have a 24 by 48 garden. And then I have a small greenhouse. I'm not using it as a greenhouse, which is 10 by 20. I put all my supplies and all that in there. We have eight chickens that are new. They are a about um, nine weeks old tomorrow. And then we have a cat that adopted us. And that's about it. That's all about the Pilates here. So again, please, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you again in the future.